Hi, my name is James Klim. How is the implant situation going for you, providing your own abutments and crowns? I tell you, I love it in my clinical theater. I'm finding it so predictable. I'm gonna talk about finishing the ceramics once they come out of the milling unit. Now for the abutment, and we're talking about the two-piece finishing here, where we mill the abutment and the crown off of the same virtual design. So as soon as that comes out of the milling unit, what I'm gonna do is finish my abutment first. Now, most of my abutments, I'm gonna choose the Denton color for that abutment. Then the finishing that is required is just polishing. I'm not placing stain and glaze, usually unless I have a high and dry margin that I wanna to tone down with some cervical stain colors, which you know me, I'm always thinking out of the box. But usually we're just gonna polish. This series of videos will document a new system that I'm using that's on the JK03 Meisinger Lab Kit. I really like their polishing knife edge wheels. Now they've come out with what we call twist polishers. There's the same grit of colors that you would see on the coarse and the medium and the high luster knife edge polishers. In essence, we're using them almost like a Robison wheel with a diamond paste. So you're gonna do most of your finishing with the green and blue knife edge, and then we'll move right in to the twist for the abutment. Let's go ahead and get started with this process. This is exciting. Out of the milling unit, we see a really well-refined abutment mill. First thing I'm gonna do is try in the tie base. Make sure everything fits well, and it always does. You do want to check to make sure you have the right tie base here. Look how well this fits. Now that screw access hole of where the tie base fits is already pre-milled. And that's in the block. So we're going to separate the abutment using our separating disc. I do like this diamond. This is the wheel shaping diamond on the JK03 lab kit. What's nice about this diamond is you can rapidly shape and remove ceramic without overheating the ceramic, preserving the integrity of your ceramic surface. We're gonna carefully remove that sprue, make sure we don't touch that margin. Then let's fit on our crown to make sure the crown fits. The next step is to start shaping the sub-gingival surface area of the abutment. Here we're using the coarse green knife wheel on the JK03 lab kit. This removes ceramic quite well and it will smooth ceramic quite well. This is the first shaping polishing wheel that I use. Then we're going to go over to the green luster twist polisher. This has the same grit as the knife edge wheel and this will rapidly smooth that surface for us. We want to use really light pressure for these twists. Once our crown is shaped, we're going to fit the crown on to the abutment and then hold the crown down tight and then use that green knife edge wheel. This is so we're going to just really smooth that junction, that junctional seam between the crown and the abutment. We want that to be really smooth. It's actually pretty good when it comes out of the milling unit. Sometimes I'll have a tendency to overbulk the margin so they don't chip while they mill. You can see it's a very smooth junction. We'll complete the polish of the sub-gingival zone of the abutment. We've already used the green and the blue knife edge well and the green twist. Now we're gonna go with the blue twist. This is the blue luster twist, the Meisinger luster twist. It's so forgiving, you wanna use a light pressure. Then we'll progress to the pink, a higher luster twist finish, and then finally the yellow luster twist polisher. That is a really nice finish this provides as good or better than a diamond paste. There we go, we're ready to fire. Look at that beautiful finish. Fill with object fixed flow. We're gonna use the abutment firing pin here. Insert partway into that access screw hole 
Make sure it doesn't extend. That way there's a passive relationship there between the object fix and the abutment. And when it fires and cools, it's not gonna break. And our final color is our detonal color. A very attractive abutment and well-made. This process is so streamlined. We'll do a final polish with the yellow luster twist polisher that just brings it up to a final high luster. I think you really like to experiment using these luster twist polishers from My Singer. They really speed up the process and provide an excellent finish on that sub gingival area of the abutment. Mm -hmm.